Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is 739 euros. The Honor 5X is 230 euros. About the same in dollars as well. They're both five and a half inch smartphones, but why are they so different in price? Well, we'll ignore style, brand, and community to start with. Samsung clearly a high-end brand. There's a big community around this phone and it's very stylish. But let's take five other aspects of the phone and talk you through some of the differences. We'll start with power and speed. Website browsing is faster, gaming is faster, and in tests at Notebook Check, we got about 10 frames per second more, 50% more on Asphalt 8. It doesn't apply to all applications. The PowerPoint application supplied with the Galaxy S7 works out a little bit slower than that on the Honor 5X. Obviously, the casing and the materials on the Samsung Galaxy S7 are very high-end. There's a Gorilla Glass screen. It's, it's very solid. It's easy to clean, and the casing is solid. It's also IP68 waterproofed as well. The Honor 5X... Well, it's a metal rear, but that is a plastic screen on the front, and I've already seen some micro-scratches on that screen. The screen on the Galaxy S7 has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. It's very high resolution, and there's a good reason for that. I'll talk about that in a minute. It's an AMOLED screen, which means the contrast is infinite. The light-boosting characteristics of an AMOLED also really helping you in outdoor usage. The color accuracy is near perfect. The Honor 5X has a full HD screen. It's not an AMOLED screen, but it is IPS and it's fairly bright. In fact, in some measurements, it's just slightly brighter than a standard all-white Samsung Galaxy S screen. But you don't get that contrast and you don't get that really nice feeling that you have outdoors when you can really, for example, take a picture with a camera without thinking twice. Obviously, you've got the edge characteristics and that comes with some edge app features. Now onto that camera, and it's an f1.7 camera. It's a very high-end camera, both in terms of optics and in terms of software as well. So quality is good. We've got an f1.7 lens, which is giving you some real nice depth of focus features and some bouquet features as well, although the actual camera on the Honor 5X isn't that bad. It's fairly quick to start up. And quality is good enough for most people. When it gets to low light, though, there's a massive, massive difference between these two phones. The S7 really able to capture, capture images down to very, very low light. The Honor 5X really starting to fail in early dusk situations and uh, falling back to unusable in dark situations. The S7 Edge can also take 4K video and it has some great features available on the user interface. For example, direct access to manual exposure, manual shutter speed, and other features. Now, obviously, both of these phones have got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and I've connected the Honor 5X to a Samsung Gear Classic without any problems. So low energy Bluetooth is working as well. But there are some fine points here we need to talk about. Or both, both of these have a USB 2 port. One of them supports on-the-go, so you can actually connect external hard drives or a mouse and keyboard on the Galaxy S7. Neither of these have digital video output via the USB port. Internally, there's AC Wi-Fi on the S7. It's got NFC, it's got the heart rate monitor, and it's also got a couple of extra sensors, the position sensor and the barometer sensor, helping those are using it for fitness tracking. The Honor 5X, though, still has a good Wi-Fi quality, and it's got that USB 2 port for transferring files. So if your basic requirements are just that, then the Honor 5X satisfies it. Let's talk about a few other features then. 32 gigs on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and 4 gigs of RAM. That's double the RAM and double the storage that you get on the Honor 5X, although micro SD card is possible on both devices for expanding storage. So if you're thinking about really going high-end with your applications, multitasking, then that 4 gigabytes of RAM is going to help you. The storage is USF on the Galaxy S7, as opposed to eMMC, a much slower flash storage method that's used on the Honor 5X. Marshmallow is installed on the Galaxy S7 Edge, although that is said to be coming for the Honor 5X, so there won't be any differences in operating system. Of course, one of the big aspects of the Samsung Galaxy S7 is the gear 
VR unit. And finally, battery life. There's nearly a 14 watt hour battery in the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and only an 11 watt hour battery in the Honor 5X. That 11 watt hours still bring in around 10 hours worth of video playback and surfing, but the Galaxy S7 Edge goes a little bit further than that by bringing in 12 hours of Wi-Fi surfing and about 15 hours worth of video playback time in our 150 nit brightness test. You can charge that battery through the quick charge facility on the S7 Edge 2, whereas the 5X does take a little bit longer to charge its batteries. What's similar about these devices? Well, they're both 5.5 inch phablets. They're both quite good. Similar weight, similar size. They've both got fingerprint readers as well, which is great value for the Honor 5X. But there's those features of the S7 Edge which really take it a little bit further. Is it worth paying? that much extra for it. Three times the cost of an Honor 5X or a Galaxy S7. Well, if you want the best, you'll probably pay for it. Style and branding making a lot of difference for a lot of the people interested in the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And don't forget, in contracts, we're already paying 50 to 60 euros a dollars a month. That S7 becomes quite a lot cheaper. The differential between the two falls away slightly, certainly in most consumers' eyes. So that's a roundup then of this Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge versus the Honor 5X. Why is that S7 Edge 730 euros? Why is the Honor 5X so much cheaper? The 5X is an excellent smartphone. It's probably good enough for 90% of people. But it's that 10% of people, which is a rather large number of people, that might want the S7 Edge. It's starting at a very high price, but there's two things that will happen. The price will come down. And that price is hidden in contracts for many people across the world. Certainly in the UK and Europe, this is a one euro phone if you're prepared to pay 50 to 60 to 70 euros or pounds per month. Don't forget to check out the full reviews of the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Also the Honor 5X at notebookcheck.com. Notebookcheck.net is the uh, English version of that website. And the detail there is uh, very deep. We've got screen measurements, we've got battery life measurements, uh, heat measurements, and of course, all the performance measurements you need to make your decision. But that was a roundup of the S7 Edge and its features over and above the Honor 5X. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to get more notifications of more videos in your mailbox. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Notebook Check Tech Review.